Hi there, this is Marissa, and today I have a new Watch Me DigiScrap video for you. In this, for the spread, I am using a blog, blog hop contributions from uh, a recent blog hop on the lily pad. Um, it was the one for International Scrapbooking Day in May. Um, so I just thought I would give it a try here. I often like um, blog hop or blog train uh, kits that come together just because you get such a variety of pieces. I usually find when I'm looking around for a new kit to buy that, you know, a lot of times one designer, while I really love uh, the look of their kit, um, I just know that unless I pull in a lot of other things, you know, the kit is not really going to work for me. I guess I have specific needs and as well as, um, you know, I kind of need a lot of stuff. <laughs> and so that is one, one reason why I really love blog trains and I often, I do usually use them because I, they're kind of my preferred, um, style actually. Um, both volume and variety are important to me. So I do love a good blog train. So there were some fun pieces here. Um, these are photos from a week when we were at the Oregon coast. Um, we spent so much time at the beach, um, which is not something to complain about, but then we do have a lot of beach pictures, which means that, you know, I have to find something that maybe goes with our beach pictures, which often means a lot of blue, and I really don't like blue. Um, so here I'm trying to use some blue and then also try to spice things up a little bit. Um, I've made several beach bundles myself because I have, we have so many beach photos, um, but I really, you know, they keep, they'll keep coming, the beach photos. So if you know of any really great uh, beach bundles, particularly non-traditional uh, colors, you know, like tan and blue. I'm tired of that. So, <laughs> uh, but if you know, or if you see of any, um, yeah, non-traditional beachy themed bundles, let me know because I am always on the lookout for that. Um, so this is kind of, things are coming together here. Um, on this spread, I'm just finishing up with a few last elements. If you have any questions about my process, please leave them below in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.